What's up guys, it's Drak, and it's no secret that the hammer shot isn't just my favorite sidearm for nerf blasting, but also the best sidearm for nerf blasting. There are a few people who disagree, which is fine, because uh, it is sort of subjective, but ultimately it isn't subjective at all. The hammer shot is just the best. So, what are we talking about today? Well, while I was in Singapore, a new friend named Enoch got this for me. And I managed to sneak it back through customs, which I am very proud of. And this is the HS02 Hammer Shot Kit. Now, you can see that there are some screws here designed to lock it into the body of the Hammer Shot because the Hammer Shot really isn't designed to take kits naturally. The shell just doesn't, doesn't mesh well with them. It doesn't have the kind of contours that really grip things well like this. So we have one coming through this side, one coming through this side. This is 3D printed. Now Enoch does a lot of work with artifact, but I actually don't believe this is an artifact kit. I think that this is something else. I'm pretty sure this is a, a small batch from somebody kind of in that area, and he managed to find one for me, and I am very, very grateful that he did because I know that these aren't quite ready to, to come to market yet. Not that they're not like awesome and ready in that sense, but that they, uh, they haven't really had uh, a wide release, so to speak. So I know a few people over in that area of the world have them, but I am definitely the first person in uh, this hemisphere to be tinkering with one. So this slides on and converts the top rail to Picatinny. We are using an Orange Modworks uh, kitted out hammer shot. So this is an OTAC hammer shot and we're doing that just because I like the OTAC hammer shot and I assume that they will be compatible and then you actually do lock these screws into the shell itself to really firmly seat this on here but I think that it is so very worth it and this one teases on to, to get these guys uniform here and we will come in and it looks like it might even that would be very fortunate if it's uh, clever enough to line up at least this one with this front screw here and I'm figuring out kind of how this goes together at the same time as I'm making this video because uh, I really 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 like hammer shots. I love spinning them, I love dual wielding them, I love everything about them and so I kind of wanted to figure this one out with you guys and it looks like whether it was designed this way or not and I'm 99% sure it was, uh, this does in fact align with the natural screw port so we can get in here and tighten this down and this looks cool it almost makes the uh, hammer shot like a longer I mean it does actually give it a longer barrel but it kind of makes it into like a long revolver which I dig a lot one of my like dream firearms is a long Colt revolver or a long Colt uh, I guess 1911 something Something, 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 I watched Helsing a lot when I was younger, but this is pretty sweet. And then, man, I don't know how you're supposed to, what does this line up with? Am I missing something? Should I have removed a rail attachment piece or something? Nope, I think you just drive it home. So you do modify the shell slightly between gripping into this top rail here with these screws and here so again this is not a final version of this kit at least I don't think it's the final version of this kit am I not applying enough force I don't think that I've gripped the the actual shell and I'm driving it home these are sharp screws so in theory it could do that but huh well for the purpose of this video pretend that it's all the way back because I really want to take my time installing that and tinkering with it and it looks like it flexes the shell out just a little bit so again like not a perfect kit per se but very very cool so I'll have to hold it a little bit for firing but I am uh, very excited by the uh, aesthetic change that this brings it makes it a much longer pistol and it's definitely tilting through that barrel there so there we go that's much better and creating a little bit of barrel drag, which is kind of new for the hammer shot. But 
I think that it is a really, really cool kit. I love the look of it. I think that the extra weight is actually fun. Um, changes spinning a lot, actually. You have to be very careful to clearance your elbow when spinning this way, but a very cool kit. I just want to get it fully aligned and then maybe I'll put something on the Picatinny here like uh, optics, but it does have actual iron sights there and I always get comments when I say that. Um, people will be like, Drek, those aren't iron sights because they're not made of iron, obviously. And yes, they're made of plastic, but when I say iron sights, I think that it's all understood that I mean rail sights built into the blaster itself. So the one downside to this kit that I can see is that it's no longer really easy to load from the side. You have to kind of tease your darts through. Hopefully you guys can see that on camera, that they're bending in to get locked and loaded. But not the end of the world, everything at a price. It would be nice if in future iterations there was a slight reaming of these so that it wasn't quite so awkward. So definitely not perfect, but an absolute ton of fun and really changes the overall aesthetic of the blaster. The other thing that I wanted to talk about in this video, since it's been about long enough, is that I have plugged in the 3,000 comments, you guys are the best, into the random number generator on my YouTube video, and I have come up with a winner for the Zombie Strike Clampdown. I've actually already contacted the winner, but it was Zach Barrett, five days ago, made the comment, do you know of a good way that I can use a 3D pen for a Nerf mod? And I figured that this was a perfectly good opportunity for me to say that I have no idea what you mean. If you mean like a 3D printer pen, something that extrudes material, there are all sorts of ways that you could use that for nerfing, and I think that you are only limited by your imagination, but that technology doesn't have a lot of structural integrity quite yet, so I still think that you are actually better off 3D printing things that you want to be like solid and then installing them after the fact, but you could use a 3D pen to like fill the gaps on things or to... I don't know, there's like a lot of different ways that you could take it, but that is my take on this HS2 kit. Just really pleased to let you guys know that this exists and that it's coming and that it might not be in this hemisphere quite yet, but I think that it's having some revisions done and then it will be uh, eventually imported through the usual channels to Los Estados Unidos, but I am very, very happy with it. I think that it's really cool and I'm just thrilled to see a pistol getting a kit like this because this looks neat. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I have an SENC war tomorrow, but I'm going to try and schedule another video for you. <laughs> I think that that covers it. Much love. Nerf on. Drek out. So I wasn't happy with how I left that one, so I went inside, I took my power drill, I cinched it up, and now I think that now that it's tight and all aligned on the Picatinny, it actually looks great. I'm really, really happy with it now. But uh, all I had to do was get it to cut into, and once the screw actually gripped onto that like softer orangey plastic piece at the tip, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's the piece that's the only orange piece on the Argonaut, and it's inside here, and then you lock into that, and just kind of go until the Picatinny is a straight line. And that is really, really sweet. So now that it's complete, and this is obviously how it was designed to look, I am very, very happy with it. This is such a cool kit. Wow, can't wait to see the final version.